Now, it's not often I talk about my time at medical school, and that's for good reason, because there's some pretty wild stuff that happened, and every doctor that you know has some wild stories from medical school. For example, there was a time when one of my friends dressed up as a dildo for Halloween, and she even made that dress herself. She said it was for charity, and she ended up raising more than 500 pounds. There was also the time when I was at the medical student bar, and some guy came running up towards me, dropped his trousers, farted, and then lit the fart on fire, and then ran away giggling. But this one, this was one of the worst things that happened in medical school, and some people even got their GMC licenses removed, some people even got expelled. This was wild. So we have this thing, this tradition in medical schools throughout the country and maybe in different countries as well. It's called sports night. And basically what happens is at the sports bar or the medical student bar, different sports teams have these drinking circles after they've lost or been victorious in a match against another team from a rival university or a rival college or whatever. Dozens and dozens of medical students would just get absolutely hammered on snake bite. That drink looked red. It looked like blood. And so when you vomited it up, it looked like you vomited up blood. It was horrible. It smelled horrible. The whole thing was just disgusting, but everyone was too drunk to care. This one time at sports night, we all came. I wasn't drinking anything this night because the next morning I had an early flight. And there was someone at this event who we later found out was actually an undercover reporter for the Daily Mail and with millions of people reading it all over the world every single day. This undercover reporter was a girl who was apparently a friend of one of the medical students there. We didn't know this at the time, we found out after the article was released. Anyway, she comes in, no ID checks. This was back in 2012. So anyway, she takes all these secret undercover photos and then it gets posted to the Daily Mail and everyone finds out what the hell. Pretty bad press. You know, the headlines were terrible. It was like, you know, these are your future doctors. They're drinking, they're getting drunk. They're doing all sorts of things. Well, sorry to break it to you, but doctors are human beings. Sometimes people forget that. Doctors are normal human beings. Doctors are allowed to do pretty much anything, except obviously, you know, give bad medical advice or promote harmful products, which some doctors do anyway, but those are not the sort of doctors that you want to be associating with. Anyway, it was pretty horrific and the medical school didn't take too kindly to some of these pictures. Uh, so yeah, a lot of stuff happened there and sometimes there would be doctors who would come back to this sports night to drink with the medical students if they were recent graduates. So yeah, horrible stuff. Um, had a huge impact on that sports night. The next few sports night, I think, were canceled. They were much more strict on the entry. They limited entry as well. So it kind of ruined the vibe. I think it's a lot better these days, I don't know, but for a few weeks and a few months, people were on edge because of this undercover reporter, which basically exposed everything. Another thing which is very strange, we had different societies in medical school and one of the societies was Christian society. And, you know, as part of what they would do, they would volunteer uh, and help out different charities. And one of the things they also did was they were volunteering to clean up the mess after a sports night. They would, you know, clean the floors, they would clean up some of the vomit, they would clean the toilets, all that kind of thing. And they were also, I think, mentioned, I think, mentioned in this newspaper article as being the Christian society was being forced to clean up after drunken medics and all these kind of things. So there was that kind of religious element to it as well. So this article was a very volatile, crazy, overly dramatic article every single doctor that you've ever come across online in real life or even in your family has some pretty regrettable and interesting and wild stories and you should go and ask them right now and if you want to hear some more wild stories about my time as a medical student or even as a doctor i'm going to reveal everything just for you on this channel so subscribe for more